Hey guys, what's up? Now it's time to get back to Ryzen a little bit. I really want to do the Ryzen 7 1700X by AMD Justice by retesting it with the latest BIOS version and 3200MHz RAM. So this will be a quick comparison between the 1700X running with 2133MHz RAM and 3200MHz. And spoiler alert, there's quite the performance difference in games. So let's go. For this test I'll be going with the ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard and this G-Skill Flare X 3200MHz memory. And as for the rest, my usual test system featuring an NVIDIA GTX 1070 GPU. Without further ado, the benchmarks. So clearly, as you have seen, RAM certainly does matter when it comes to AMD's new glorious Ryzen chips. 2133 MHz DDR4 memory is still good and all, Ryzen still shows impressive results in the tests, but it's undeniable, if you really want to push Ryzen performance wise, you really have to get high frequency RAM, which however isn't the easiest task with those compatibility issues. By now, most of those have been resolved with new BIOS versions and CPU few microcodes, but still I hear there are still a bunch of users reporting problems. But that's not the point of this video today. Long story short, in aspects such as video editing, rendering and all that stuff, it doesn't really matter as much at what frequency you're running your memory at. There are only minimal differences. Games, now that's where things start to look different. The majority of game titles I've tested benefited a lot from 3200 MHz. Far Cry Primal, GTA 5, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Skyrim. I mean, look at those enormous gaps. Interestingly, the power consumption increases a little bit too on Ryzen with my specific high frequency memory. Something I didn't see happening on the Intel CPUs. But anyway, let's sum it up. Is it worth it to pair Ryzen with 3200 MHz RAM or more performance wise? Yes, absolutely. Unfortunately, the RAM prices are quite high currently, so most of us probably don't really have a choice, especially those that are on a budget and go for Ryzen 5 CPUs. And yeah, this pretty much wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And as always, thanks for watching.